after 96. Um, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles. Uh, you know, he's a, he was everything to, to my generation. You feel me? Like, there's a, there's a whole generation of kids, like L.A. kids that, global, obviously, but, like, that was, that was our childhood. You know what I mean? And um, the, the lessons of hard work and, you know, as cliche as it may sound, the mama mentality, right? Like, that's part of the reason I am who I am today, right? Like, the, the mentality of consistent work and, and pushing through boundaries and playing through injury and, and never giving up, never, you know, uh, falling, just, just continuing to, to push through, you know, shooting the free throws off the Achilles, all, all types of things that, you know, he did, the game winners, all that stuff. Like, he was, he was everything to, to a lot of kids, and, and I, was, I was one of them. What did it mean to you to dribble that clock out at the beginning of the game and have that ovation that came from the crowd from that moment? Nah, that ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with me, man. Like, it's, that's, that's all about him. That, that shows what he meant to people, you know. He, he didn't play for the Knicks, and Madison Square Garden was, was on their feet. You know, the last they were all night was, was for him. Spencer, how difficult is it to try to concentrate on basketball when there's obviously something more important than yeah. basketball that happened? And the second, were you surprised that the games all got played? Did you think maybe they would cancel this? Um, I mean, I did. I thought they were going to get canceled, but, you know, the NBA is a business. And, um, you know, I understand there's probably logistical issues with uh, clearing arenas and things. So they chose not to. Um, you know, you we, we come to work. We got, we got a job to do. So um, just, just like everybody else, I mean, I'm sure you guys have had to deal with tragedies before and still had to show up to work. And, um, that's what that's what they called on us to do tonight, and you know obviously the, the life is more important, but you know, we we still have a job to do. You saw your Instagram post, you know, can you just describe, you know, how it hit you emotionally, uh, you know, with that relationship? Yeah, um, I mean, I, I I met Kobe several times, um, exchanged pleasantries and text messages and things. But, um, and, and, you know, maybe it's a little bit over-exaggerating, but I felt like this was the first time he was, you know, looking at me as, like, like the basketball player, Spencer, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, briefly told you guys how much he meant to, you know what I'm saying, all the people from, uh, you know, where I'm from. And, you know, for him to tell me that, you know, in, in his book I'm an all-star and stuff like that, you know what I mean, like that. Uh, cause I talked about the popularity contest before and, like, you know, you don't win things like that, you know, when, you, when you're me. So for him to say that, like, it, I didn't need to be selected, you know what I mean, anymore. Like, because it was, a, I was an all-star, you feel me? Like, it's not just like my family, you know, it was the guy. Frank, we have talked a lot today and heard from...